Hey yo guys, I'm Krieger and this is Warhammer 40k Inquisitor mod here. We have a special mission around here, right? I did uh, skippity doo a little bit though, went back and forth, I had to find this again and finally we found it. We did buy all the DLC for this game by the way, it was 80 euros or 80 US dollars normally, but because of the Steam Summon sales it's 15 US dollars, euros. So if you want to play this game for very very cheap, get this game. It's really really fun, man. But here we go. And um, oh, we have two actually right over here. Huh? Nogal infestation. Well, we are going for that one. An overpopulated high vault where fast levels are dedicated to nothing but the dark labyrinths of the administratum. Petitioners sometimes spend months on these corridors while waiting for their appointment and submitting hundreds of forms to officials. In the upper hive uh, li lives the governor of the Tenebra subsector. In his colossal palace of Dagnorian living marble. Living marble? Okay, I have to google this one. Dagnorian living marble. The gargantuan hive cities are powered by the ancient geometric power plants, which connect straight to the planetary core. Very interesting couple of strange words though, right, you know, uh, but we will find out what it actually is later on. It's a very interesting looking planet, of course, you know, but um, <laughs> let's first go for this one. Large scale cleansing opera <coughs> operations have this large chaos cultists from their hiding holes and corralled them to the highest levels of habitat complex. As an anointed agent of the Golden Throne, your duty is to take revenge for the fallen. Orders just to shall be served, indeed. Warning, you may encounter several volatile warp anomalies during this mission. Some enemies may also have increased health and warp damage. Very interesting, let's go for it. Oh yeah, look at this though, huh? I thought it would be a little bit more green all around here. On the weak and using craven tricks against the defenders of mankind. That's a little cherub, by the way. We should find their leaders and give them a fair share of their own medicine. Oh yeah, I totally agree there. By the way, yeah, that is our little cherub. He's a good boy, believe me. Hmm. Now how do we get down here? Ah, there. Oh my god, I'm so blind. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, we cannot go down there. That's a shame. Alright. Alright. The supernova things, though, we have to be very careful of, right? You know, we have been nuked plenty of times before. And, uh, yeah, it drains the soul, one might say, right? You know, it really, really gets you. Bye-bye. All right, so everything is a little bit louder right now. You know, we have tuned the audio a little bit. Now, the results will be, yeah, will be shown later on. But uh, let's just continue for now. Oh, yeah. Yep, we do need uh, some better armor, by the way, for this big boy, right, you know? Yeah, we are almost already done with the AoE, so that is a good little perk system for our build. Man, we did not even have, have our armor reloaded or shotgun, damn it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm all over the place with my thoughts, right, you know? But Kessera, or whatever will be, will be, right? Let's just keep moving on and then we will see. Oh yeah, big boys. Have fun there. Yep, uh, only the space marine, huh? Only the space marine was uh, alive there. Oh boy. Sorcerer Warp Master. Yeah, let's be very careful here, by the way. Oh, oh, move it, move it, move it, move it. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. Bye-bye. Anything nice? Yeah, there's some nice things here. Not for me, necessarily, but... In general, the items are good. They're very good. But yeah, you know, I'm all over the place, but we do need to get some better armor and uh, reload or armor. Uh, there we go again. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, or shotgun. Damn, that's the word. All right, we do level up. That's always a beauty, right? You know? All right. Very nice. And let's see what we did actually get. What did we get? Hmm. Recharge utility, suppression, blah, 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 blah. We did get some nice things. Uh, I'm certain of that, by the way. Is this one better? Oh, yes. It is way better. 
But because we are a massive glass cannon, by the way, right? You know, we want to be very careful. We have spent a lot into the AoE aspect of our build. Which is very awesome, as you can see, right? You know, suppression is quite high and everything. It's really, really a good build. There's only one problem, though. We are not very tanky. We are a glass cannon boy. And uh, yeah, that's that's the problem here. Okay, I'm not sure what creates those uh, millstorms there. Not those guys. Yeah. All right. By the way, let's go heal up a little bit. Yeah, let's move. Let's move. We are in danger. Oh, boy. Uh, we better heal up right now. Uh, are you the big boy that does it? Oh, we are. No way. No way. Oh my god, I did not expect to, <laughs> to die already. Woo! But yeah, we are a glass cannon. We have to be very, very freakishly careful though. And that's a big shame. But uh, man, we can do this easily. But we have to be yeah, careful, man. We have to retreat a little bit on time. We really have to check our HP out. How armor, huh? Um, but yeah, you know, we have to get some shields. Some this, some that, you know. it's A lot is going on, you know. You can see it for yourself, of course. But oh boy, it is a str Oh my god, look at the size of this thing. Yeah. Come on. Oh! Man, yep. We have a slight problem here. What the? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you! I did not see him. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. I thought we were already dead. <laughs> Whew. We I'm have afraid that's our last shot. Yeah. Don't fail the Imperium. I will do my best, big boy. Man, we gotta be very careful against these guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. We have to be so much more careful. But it's about time that we had, uh, spend some... Some... Uh, some beautiful stuff, right? You know, in... In some of these, for example, you know, like uh, support or health, probably, mostly here. 150 maximum suppression. That's very nice. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Plus 5 damage reduction when suppression status. Plus 2% maximum suppression, blah, 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 blah. Look at all of this stuff, right? It's very, very good to have, especially the HP here. Hmm. Oh, that's very cool, man. But so are defenses. Uh, penetrating attacks are blocked by covers. 3% physical resistance, especially these. Damage reduction from armor. Yeah, this is just beautiful stuff, isn't it? You know, we do need that. Oh, yeah. Master glass cannon right over here, huh? Let's go grab this big boy. There we go. Loading. But we have to be so much more careful. Especially now because we can only fill once. And then it's game over. Woo! I feel it though, you know, like a uh, little adrenaline pumping. You know, the best thing will be against these guys, you know, or single target boy. Look at that. He doesn't stand much of a chance, though. He's even being stunned there. Oh, overheated? Cannot have that happening. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Ah. Whoa, did you see that laser? Alright. Big boy boss there. Let's get rid of the space marine. Does the most damage there. And now over here we got some... Oh, yeah, big boy. Oh, yeah! That was way smoother, I would say. We still gotta be very careful, of course, you know, because we don't want to keep pulling in. Up, uh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, that made me happy, though. That made me very happy. Level up, very cool. Do we have something sexy here? Demolition armor, this is what we do need, right? You know, yes, that's way better right now. Look at the armor, man. That's painted by the bluff of our enemies. It's kind of funny that it's actually, you know, silver in the game. 
But it's actually, you know, like uh, blood in the inventory. Hmm. Or red, at least, on a minimum. Oh my lord. All right, big boy. <laughs> yeah. It's good that this backup died early, right? You know? Early retirement. Is it too? Now we gotta be very careful. I mean, I don't want to... I, I'm not even know what's going on here, right? You know, is it just a speed buff? Yeah, I think it is. Man, that was scary though. I thought it was going to explode upon my booty. Did we get anything nice? Not sure. Hmm, sentinel armor we did get from him. And a power sword. What I love about uh, Warhammer though is there's always something from uh, for everyone here. You know, if you want to be melee boy, what the fuck is stopping you, right? You know, just go melee. Pistols? Go pistols. You know? It's fantastic, yo. It, it, it really is good, man. It really is good. Rockets, grenades, etc. There's something for everyone, right? You know? And even in the lore, it makes sense. You know? It's just perfect. And because you're wearing power armor, right? You know? It doesn't matter if you're running up to someone with a, with a freaking shotgun or anything of that weird stuff, right? You know? Or mini nuke, maybe at times. Sometimes, roleplay wise, I had a whole lot of trouble with uh, the other scrolls. And I followed, I mean. Um, because, you know, running up against a guy while being melee, you know? Whoa, yo, 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 yo. And that guy had a shotgun or it had a bazooka, you know, anything of that sort. It always felt a little bit wrong, you know? Just a little bit. But with some power armor on, man, it feels natural, you know? Just a melee tank. I think I make a little bit of sense, right? Whoa, what the? Okay, we really nuked him there, huh? <laughs> and that is why I went for this type of build, right? You know, it's a lot of fun, but it is weak at the beginning. With survivability. Alright, now let's see. Hmm, we already had this one, yes. But let's go for that one again, though. Alright, let's get out of here, boys. We have everything that we wanted. I'm going to sell quite a lot of stuff and then we will see, right? You know, uh, what mission will be next. I think it will be the Nurgle Hunter, you know, hunting uh, mission. And I hope the atmosphere is going uh, kind of green, right? You know, typical Nurgle world. But that means it's kind of poisonous, though. And that is very bad, too, right? Because you don't want to be infected by the diseases of Nurgle. Now, unlock type personal teleporter. Interesting. 45 damage bonus channeled skills. Ooh. Hmm, skill tree unlocked. Yeah, attribute points. Uh, survivor instinct override perk unlocked. Alright, alright, I like it. 45 damage bonus for channeled skills. Yes, let's go with that because we have a couple of them. At least I think we do, right? Okay, how many points do we need for this one? I think one more, right? Yeah, one more. And then passives, passives, passives. All right, almost complete. Mm, one, two, three, four levels more. We can deal with that now, can't we? All right, let's sell all the beautiful goodies here. Yeah, we did check them all before. And this one we want to keep, but can we now wear it? Yes, we can. It's so much better though. Gains focus state for 4.9 uh, seconds on a critical hit skill. And we have lots of those, right? Hell yeah. That's what I call a birthday party. All right, let's go. Am I the only one, by the way, that loves these types of uh, planets? You know, like the uh, such a mystery green and purple and orange and all those weird colors. I can't be the only one. You have installed the Forgotten Arsenal DLC, which contains the Void Station, Sacred Vault, HS 
t uh, 10 11 as a special star map location with several new missions and a special relic item shop after the missions are finished you can find a sacred fault hs 10 11 in the ormeo system in the argarta subsector please note that this star map location is only available after knocking the argarta subsector yes no problem Oh, well, all the DLC pop up. Let me read this for a second. Oh, okay. A lot of other things that pop up here too, out of nowhere. We wanted to do this one, but let's go first here. Bunker busting. Ward bearer vanguard. Hmm. After an undisclosed warp uh, incident, the operating personnel of an anti ship battery has birthed, de birthed demons. A banishment order must be fulfilled at once, but the main bunker can only be breathed by battleship munitions. Orders, the sacred of orders are, and that's why, you know, the higher us here, the sacred bombardment cannot commerce unless the anti-orbital defenses are brought down first. Makes sense before we can go to the planet itself. kind of funny by the way as the inquisitor ah, the grand inquisitor is probably above us and above that is the emperor himself right you are expected to mark a bunker for an aerial strike the target is reinforced by anti-aircraft artillery so you must take out the foot soldiers and guns first then finish the bunker all this taking it in stride single-handedly oh the seemingly pointless intrigues of the holy ordo Nothing is pointless, dear. It's the will of the Emperor. Incarnate. Let's purge them all. Man, the atmosphere is good. Just listen to it. You hear some metals clanking deep from below in the halls. You know? It's really fantastic. Alright, big boy. Wappa! Play with fire? Get burnt yourself. Mm-hmm. It's kind of interesting, by the way, that uh, so far, there are no special deaths here for the enemies, right? So it's a little bit easier upon our soul. But what are those, by the way, coffins? Or what do you guys think? What is down there? I mean, you know, to have billions of coffins somewhere, it's not unheard of in, uh, you know, in Warhammer. Dot this, he says. Oh, that's my rockets, playboy. All right. Oh, the boss is actually to the left here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yep. What a difference, right? If we fight normal monsters or enemies. Chaos warriors. It is this time. But the thing, though, is, right, you know, without their extra explosions or anything of that sort, right? Next time, reload. My lord. Yeah, I actually sort of learn to reload at every fight, right, you know? Well, not every little fight like that over there, but... After every small encounter battle... This makes life a whole lot easier, though. Psych failure. Okay. There we go, boys. The Psyker almost got me there. Interesting. Curious, even. Oh, we got some friendlies here. Reconnaissance forces located. Potentially useful assets, but their current situation is terminal. Immediate action required. Sure thing. Oh boy. Force relieved. Sent basic. Follow and protect order to the survivors. This this map. This map really reminds me of uh of how to say what what is it, the accent yeah beautiful game by the way if you do like uh these types of games get the accent it's really fun all right bye bye but yeah the accent is really really fun by the way you know it's uh it's a little bit cyberpunky it's uh <clears throat> it's everything your little heart desires you know it is, uh, it has a beautiful, oh, we should go over here for the supplies. It, it has a beautiful atmosphere, it has a little bit of roleplay, it has the, the gun ho type of uh, playstyle too, right? It's really nice. Alright. 
different builds, you know, from some type of uh, quick assassin rogue style to a heavy armored big boy. By the way, okay, those are there. Let's go right over here. One less yep. target to worry about. Keep going. All right, big boy. <laughs> big girl, I mean, you know. All right. All right. Let's just deal with him nice and quick. Oh boy. Yeah, this is bad right now. Let's get rid of that tower. I mean, you know, the AOE boys over here, we can take out rather quick ourselves without too much of a hassle or too much of a worry. Or soldiers stay alive nicely. See what I meant? I was attacking my own little syrup there. The abomination that it can be, right? You know what is over here? Ah, there. All right. Hopefully it is not self-conscious too much, right? You know, because that's an abomination against the technology. You know what is kind of funny, man? You know, each time that I... I... I wake up, you know? Um, I do my routines and slowly I'm actually thinking about, uh, you know, certain old school lores that I've been, uh, learning and studying since the dawn of my time, you know, thinking about the Elder Scrolls as a good example. It's really good. Beautiful lore, man. It's so freakishly deep, man. It's not normal. And the deeper you go, the less you actually know, you know, and that's, that, that's the beautiful thing about such games. Um... But then I play this game, you know, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm happy that I'm playing something fast packed with tons, tons and tons of lore too, because lore is some of the most important stuff for me in video games, right? You know, it doesn't matter if it's a modern game or if it's an old school game or anything of that sort. Why is it not working? Yeah. I'm holding F here. Come on, don't tell me right now. Is it because of the big boy there? Look at all the bodies here, by the way. Okay, now it's working. Yeah, the marine was in the way. You did a short work of that one, Inquisitor. But there is more. Like, wh I know all the drama about uh, Call of Duty right now, but without even mentioning anything of that, right? You know, because why would we? Um, it, it's just like... That game, it has its own lore. It's not very deep, but it has emotional attachments, you know? And that's why people love such things, right, you know? It's not only because you run around doing your pew 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 the whole time. That's, that's, that's just fun, right, you know? And I think we all agree that good lore makes the game so much better. Heck, even if it's Minecraft, you know? If you can make your own lore there on your own server. I mean, isn't that fun too? Yeah, we are going kind of back and forth, but I did hear and smell a freaking space marine here. Take it like a man, guardsman. Oh yeah, take it like a man, guardsman. Yeah. Oh yeah. I do like they are so proud, man, you know, to serve the emperor too. And I mean, you know, they are they are not really enhanced or anything. They are mostly just just, just humans. They might do the same job like one or two space marines can do. But it will take them, uh, you know, like a million or something of them, you know? <laughs> or hundreds and hundreds of thousands. But they are doing it gladly, right? For the Emperor and for humanity in general. But if you disagree with me, right, you know, with the lore thing, do let me know, please. Because I, I, I would like to know why. You know, I think, like I said, you know, it's it's mighty important. And sometimes you just want to feel something yeah, that is kind of quicker than your average Joe thing, you know, your average game. And that's why I'm kind of glad that I'm playing this right now, because I feel like I need something with the lore. I need something with, with, with yeah, you know, anything that is going on right now, but with the action in between. I hope I make a little bit sense right, you know? 
because it's kind of difficult to watch yourself out when you're making a let's play and it's not live and you're you're, you're kind of gaming and trying to survive you know what i mean you know it is it is all over the place in other words at your command, at your command big boy well not his command you but you know work of that one inquisitor but there is more we can only hope, right? You know, we want to get revenge for the bodies that are left down here. All right. Change mechanism, chain sword. Fun stuff. There is more, huh? Oh, one to the right side. We almost went there. All right. got another boss here oh boy yeah that's a big cookie that boss there it's uh it, it oh it has a melee weapon yeah that's going to be dangerous but he's already down so that's sweet man that's sweet after all we are not mr tanky here look at this bunker oh yeah let's go let's go oh nice hmm. no more primary targets on my argus scans well done Stand by for extraction. Unless you want to linger just a little longer. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Let's go back. Alright, level 18. And what is this, by the way? Oh, deflectors. Uh, field. Yeah, not shield. Uh, plus 50% incolator capacity. Remove 30% current haste for your use. That's, that's not something I want. Not something I want, my boys. Let's go and whoop. There we go. Plus three percent bonus to our of effect skills for each enemy hit. In other words, more deadly by the second. All right, now we are going after the Nurgle infestation. They're doing nice amount of damage here. Um, double the amount of supporting enemy elite enemy groups. Plus thirty percent damage bonus for villain and commander enemies. It's going to be very dangerous here. Absolutely very dangerous. Triumphant demonic uh, cacop, uh, what? cacophony and sickening swarms of bubonic flies mark where abomination of Nurgle set food. In real space, turning the human population into a putrefying offal. Deploy immediately to the infected uh, structure and demolish the breeding cities. Order burn them all. We identified the demonic contagion in the zone. Samples indicate warp-infested unknown pathogens. Now it is your field of expertise, Inquisitor. All right, it surely is though. Now, you know what will make this game uh, just a little bit better? Although I do not know if we will get it, right? So I'm a little bit premature with it, maybe. But in Diablo, for example, you can get a companion that travels with you, so you don't feel alone here in space, one might say. I would love to have that in this game too, you know? Like, I, I do like an NPC companion system. I mean, it's, 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 it's nice to get something personal going on, right, you know? Because then it's not just, you know, for humanity or whatever, it is really something for like, you know, like, a personal thing too. And especially if the could die, but very difficult, right? You know, then it's even more like, oh, we have got something to lose here. All right. Yeah, there's lots of these Nurgle scumbags around here. Let's cleanse it all, man. Cleanse it all with holy fire. And the holy fire for more shotgun shells, right? You know, bam, there we go. Whoa, speaking about holy fire, there we are. Hmm. All right, we got a, a kill streak, but yeah, I kind of want to go to the right side, but I I don't think we can there. Wait a minute, you were not attacking me. That is interesting. Those demonic vapors can right. your skin. Your body is decomposing. Exfiltration advised. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, it is disappearing slowly, as you can see. The Sheriff Man. Kind of cool that it flies so high up there in the sky, too. Ah, we do need to go through it. Filth of a false god, of a demon god. It's good that we are here to purge. Oh, yeah. There we are. 
Beautiful. Medical supplies. Let's go grab one. Oh my, look at this thing. A little grenade too. Chaos Demon structure. Look at that thing, man. It's bleeding, Elise, which is beautiful. That's why we do need debuffs too. Because if we do make ourselves more tanky. Updated. Chance of success increasing at a steady rate. We can only uh we can only agree with that, right? Because there are not a lot of them left anymore. But yeah, you know what I tried to say is that, you know, uh, once we are tanky, once uh our build is over, we are nice and tanky right then. We can all agree if we get the defensive uh, bonuses. But we want to get the debuff too. Because what makes us even more tankier and deadlier is making our enemies weaker. Not necessarily increasing our experience of, I mean, you know, our damage uh, output. That will, that will just go up anyways. But it will especially go up if we do make our foes weaker. Combine it with the AoE and the tankiness. I think we might have a very beautiful build. I mean, that is what I do love to play normally in MMORPGs or whatsoever. Something like an AoE tank that does some debuffing. Hmm, there could be something nice there, actually. It's kind of a shame in MMORPGs, like, you know, like most games have something like one or two debuffs, right? Um, but in the Elder Scrolls Online, I always did play, uh, you know, an AoE tank. Loving that stuff, right, you know? Very tanky and very survive, uh, a lot of survivability is focused. Um, but not really necessarily high damage, because, you know, every tick of damage I do is aggro, right? You know, as a tank. So that's great. But the thing, though, is, is that um, a lot of games do not focus on debuffing too much. Can you imagine, you know, that you're just a tank that does okay damage? You know, not a lot, but okay. You know, something like you can be like, yeah, this is fun. But you are so tanky that it's hard to take you down. But you also debuff the enemies. I mean, hey, that's very cool, right, you know? And it doesn't make you OP because, you know, others do so much more damage or can heal themselves or anything of that sort. Oh boy, we got another big toy over here, huh? Let's go click on it. Oh, we cannot do that right now. So let's go right there. And this one right there, I suppose, right? You know, to protect it. Yeehaw, big monstrosity. Look at that, right? You know, we even do poison against it. I'm not sure how, but... It did None take poison damage. Increasing at a steady rate. Oh yeah. <laughs> that buff man came at the right time, huh? Right when we are facing quite a bit of enemies. Alright. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are surrounded. We don't like that, right? We don't want to be... And from behind. Oh boy. There we go. Demolition armor. Nice. We got a new one. And. Reload. There we are. Alright. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Got a lot going on over there. But let's go right over here and there first. Yeah, look at my hit speed though. It's being drained rapidly. What a fun mission, by the way. What a fun mission. I really have to say, though, I have a great, great time here. Except for now, because we did not get a beautiful, <laughs> you know, upgrade. But I want one. I want some bigger, better, hardcore upgrades, you know, for armor. But in time, in time, in time. Oh, wow, halfway the game. But their current situation is terminal. Immediate action required. All right, good that these big boys did survive. basic. Follow and protect order to the survivors. Oh yeah. Ready to fly. I mean, you know, uh, wow, it's it's good that the uh, they are still alive though. But what you have to go undergo uh, uh, in a little bit, right? You know, it's going to be difficult for them. After all, we do not want to take any risk, you know. All right. 
Gotta take the big boy out fast. Okay, he's down. Woohoo! Very cool. Bye bye. All of them are down. Power axe. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And let's go right over here. We want to check everything, right? You know, every nook and cranny. Uh, cranny. That's why we have those uh, girdsmen over there, too. Oh, this is bad. Okay, down it goes. Mm-hmm. Did we check everything? We did check everything once we go here. All right. What a tooth cookie, damn. Tooth, yes. <laughs> the Omni Sire be praised. Hail the Emperor. I just won't say, like, where my boys at, though, but they are right behind us. Let's see, did we get them all? Yeah, we did get them all. Let's get out of here. So now they are going to be interrogated. Now they are going to <laughs> be prime suspects, you know. They are going to be cleansed, if they can be cleansed, you know. Being uh, observed and everything. What a great time for those uh, guardsmen, right? Ooh, multi-melta. Nice. We are going to equip that, I think. Skill tree and look. Corpus. And one virtue. Oh, oh. I want it, though, but... Rod from the Holy Ordos. I'm very appreciative of it, though, but... Ah, oh, if this one is good, then maybe that one. Alright, now let's see. 50% damage bonus to grenade skills. Yes, we want to have grenades, right? You know, always. Because... AoE. You know what I mean? Oh, by the way, uh, let's see. Passives over here. Single DPS. It's quite nice, though, in my opinion. Uh, I did hover over it like this, right? You know what? At one time. Damage over time. That's very good, too. We do want to have dots, by the way. Bleeding enemies are slowed as well. Um, but I did not check this one too much. If we do not get something that does damage over time, right? You know, we will have to see about it. Um, but anyways, anyways, anyhow. Hmm. Where was it? All right, over here, yes. Duh. All right, uh, believe. I mean, hey, you know, if you want to be a big tanky boy, this is the way to go, right? Could go single target skills. It, it's really nice, though, man. Neuro stimulation plus twenty percent damage bonus and ten percent supreme damage reduction for ten seconds on one hit kills with a single target skills. Well, you know, if you are a lead boy and you do that, you kill really, really fast, though. Just saying, right? Just saying. Okay, nothing of these are better than what I have right now. Uh, right click to use. There we are. Oh no, we are traveling to a different co- Damn. There was still something that we want to do. And by the way, we cannot go here yet. Anyhow. So that's very interesting. I do love this. Well, I don't think it is. Yeah, the sun is behind there. I think there are two suns right now. I think this is just a meteorite mining facility that did crack in too right so yeah by that though i want to thank you all for tuning in i really appreciate it have a wonderful time and i will see you guys in the next episode stay happy stay healthy don't forget to subscribe though bye bye